What's up, everyone? It's fantastic to see you again. Welcome to my introduction, section four of the online video course, Chinese Traditional Culture and Spiritual Healing. I'm Professor Wang Yan. My sister has been kidnapped by an ideology called the Success Doctrine. According to its logic, one must be successful if one wants to be happy. The so-called success is to achieve fame and wealth, be excellent, and be exceptional. Otherwise, a man is considered to have failed and committed the crime of failure. Most of the education we receive tells us how to be successful, but only a few courses tells us how to face failure. The typical social pyramid structure determines that only a few people can succeed, and most of them are losers in the pursuit of success. Why do I try so hard, but still do not succeed? How heartbreaking this question is. Ask those students who compete with each other to pass the college entrance exam. The college graduates who have pressured themselves to get staffing of government-affiliated institutions. And the workplace staffin, who are secretly competing to get promoted, this is because the competition we are facing at present is often a zero-sum game. Wherever there is win, there must be lose. One side win, the other side loses. Behind this victory. And glory of the winners is the sadness and bitterness of the losers. In this world, high-quality social resources of education, employment, jobs, marriage are limited. The gruel is little, and the monks are many. Which means that when some people get more. Others get less. Some can get it, but some can not. At present, there is an anthropological word going rival, which is called evolution. Our current society is a highly evolved one. Intuitively. Evolution is the evolving inward, or going around in circles. In short, evolution is meaningless internal consumption. If we say that in the early days of human beings, the main energy of human beings was on the struggle between man and nature. But in the highly developed human material civilization, humans have focused on the struggle between people, and man must fight for himself to obtain more high-quality social resources. As a result, the competition between people has become like. Endless arm race. The reason why I failed is not that I'm not good, but that my opponent is better than me. I must be better than my opponent, and I must succeed. Have become the curse of life, which makes it impossible for us to get real peace of mind. I'm not opposed to success. Success is good, of course, because it is a reward for life. Moreover, it's indeed an effective means to obtain dignity.
freedom, and security in real life. But I'm opposed to the success doctrine. To equating success with happiness, to viewing success as the sole source of happiness, I know clearly that many people who have already gained success still have unfulfilled hearts because success and failure are full of variables. These variables can bring people a strong sense of. Insecurity. The obsession with success in order to gain others' approval. This is a major source of modern people's suffering. At the same time, I also deeply believed that even if a person cannot achieve success for various reasons, he can also feel the value and fun of life through. Fulfillment, life subtraction, and practicing mindfulness, and even experience the happiness that cannot be brought about by success. To make ourselves happy, not successful, is our ultimate mission. Happiness is more important than success. We should not sacrifice happiness for the pursuit of success. It can be understood that my course is a course against the success doctrine. The success doctrine tells us that only success is the pathway to happiness, which means to deprive the right to be happy from the majority of ordinary people. In this course, I want to tell you that please be yourself before you become successful. A truly wonderful life is the one to live on one's way and with strong inner motivation. Success is not so much a goal as a reward on the road. To self-fulfillment. In addition to success, we have many other non-utilitarian pleasure in life. We do not have to succeed nor win to be happy. This course does not advocate the spiritual victory of IQ. IQ. It's a classic character in Lu Xun's writing that represents the ears or perceived negative aspects of Chinese traditional culture. Spiritual victory is a unique way of self-comfort for losers in life, which make psychological compensation for actual failure with purely imagined victory. But my course is different. It not only echoes the important research results of Western psychology, but also connects with China's long-standing and great spiritual tradition. It is a beautiful, super utilitarian and free-going state of life, and therefore a kind of cosmos spirit. That is as vast as the world. On the other hand, I hope that through my course, I can appeal to this society to free people from the fear of being weak. Respect everyone's personality equally. Break the equal relationship between success and happiness, and let everyone's self. Have room for release and realization. More importantly, I hope that my course can establish a sense of psychological security deep down in the heart of everyone. This is always a way in life, 
even if a person cannot own worldly success, as long as he can achieve his true self, he can also taste the delicious fruits of life. In short, happiness is not just for those who are successful. Let us go together and open another door to happiness. We are now reached the end of section four of my introduction. Before we finish, I have some questions for you to think about. You can see them on screen now. Please pause the video to think about them and continue when ready. What is the success doctrine? Why should I resist it? What do you think of the success doctrine? How do you view success? What is involution? Thank you very much for watching. Take care.